two common methods for quoting interest rates are the nominal rate and the effective rate. Nominal interest rate is stated interest rate on a loan and does not consider the compounding period. Effective interest rate takes the compounding period into account and thus is a more accurate measure of interest charges. Annual interest rate 10% means interest rate is 10% per year, compounded annually. In this case, the nominal interest rate is 10% and the effective interest rate is also 10%. If compounding is more frequent than once per year, then the effective interest rate will be greater than 10%. As number of compounding periods increase, the effective interest rate increases. This formula shows the relationship between nominal interest rate and effective interest rate. NPERY is number of compounding periods per year. The effect function returns the effective interest rate considering the compounding period. Here is syntax. Nominal rate. Argument is passed as percentage or in decimal. NPERY. Number of compounding periods per year. There are various compounding periods in column B. In H4, we have nominal rate 3.75%. Use this formula to calculate the effective rate. Use absolute reference for H4 so that the formula can be copied down. The formula returns a decimal value. Format the cell to percentage. In the home tab, click on number format. Select percentage. Enter the desired decimal places. Click on OK. Copy the formula down. The effect function returns the effective rate for different compounding periods. The rate increases as number of compounding periods increase. You can also calculate effective rate using the generic formula. Use this formula. Nominal rate is in H4. Number of periods per year is in B3. Copy the formula down. The results in column C and D match. The effective rate can also be calculated with the FE function. Here is the generic formula. Use this formula. This formula computes the future value of a $1 loan at nominal rate compounded at number of periods per year for one year and then it subtracts $1. For example, future value of $1 loan at 3.75% compounded monthly for one year is 1.03815. One if you were to take this loan, you will pay back 1.03815 after a year. Subtract 1, it returns 0.03815. This means you will pay an additional $0.03815 more than you borrowed or effectively 3.815%. Copy the formula down. The results in columns C, D and E match. The function displays pound value error if arguments to the function are non-numeric. The function displays a pound num error if the value of periods is less than 1 or the value of nominal rate is less than or equal to 0. Nominal function returns the interest rate for the given effective rate and compounding periods per year. Here is the syntax. Effective rate entered as percentage or in decimals. NPERY, number of compounding periods per year. Here we have 3.75% effective rate with the different compounding periods per year. Use this formula. Periods per year equal to 1. Nominal rate and effective rate are same. Copy the formula down. Notice that the nominal rate decreases as compounding periods increase. The function displays pound value error if arguments passed are non-numeric. The function displays pound num error if value of period is less than 1 or the value of nominal rate is less than or equal to 0. Generally, effective interest rate is used as it considers the annual compounding period and returns the accurate measure of interest charges. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.